I kind of abide by the rules, and that is that shadow cabinet meetings are private, and they are held in an atmosphere of trust, and I never say anything about what happens no, in shadow cabinet meetings. Answer. What do you think of Tom Watson yourself going on the radio this morning and saying it's a battle for the Labour Party, the existence of the Labour Party? I think that it is important that internal discussions and fights within the Labour Party are done privately. We do not need to discuss them on the media. It seems to me that these are things that we can discuss internally. The Labour Party is about a great deal more than that. And although you say there aren't going to be elections, actually there are. There are going to be local authority elections. And I think of, I think of the elderly woman who I met in Warwick, who was so worried about the cuts to social care, she was not going to be got up in the morning anymore, she was going to be got up at lunchtime, and how was she, who was going to help her have her breakfast if the cuts to social care were going to go ahead? You know, the cuts to local authorities, the cuts to policing, these are things that we should be focusing on as the Labour and, Party. And, and so many people have said Labour is letting those people down because it is not serving the role it should have of holding the government to account. Now, I'm, I'm not clear what is going wrong. Is it that Tom Watson went public with his criticisms? Is it the leader? Is it the MPs? What is it, in your view, that explains why Labour is 19 points behind the Tories in a poll? Well, let me say, I mean, after the Shadow Cabinet away day, there was a statement put out, and that was a statement saying that we are a broad church, we have always had different groupings within the Labour Party organising, and so long as it's done within the rules, then no one is going to criticise. And I think that's got to be right. You know, that is who we so are. That's the settlement you know, on today's that's, argument. That's, now you just have sorted. to deal with the fact that poll after poll has you... 15, 20 points behind the Conservatives. And so that's why what we have to do is we have to focus on the policies. Because if you ask the public you know, about our policies, we're very popular. It's linking those policies with us and it's making sure... You know, I would like to come on tonight and talk about Donald Trump and about what's, what's been happening with the allegations against, against Britain and the, and the Britain Secret Service. I mean, that's what I would like to be on tonight. But instead, I'm talking about this. Yeah, but you can't blame us for that, can't no, you? No, I mean, I'm no, not, no, I'm no, not. I'm not. I'm not. What I'm saying is that what Labour ought to be debating is our policies and our best policy but offer for the public. You can't get to the policy until you've sorted out the internal dynamics of the and party. Yet, and yet, when it comes to policy discussions, there's so little disagreement. You know, that's well, what's there, so Well, that's because you've had so little to say on policy no, with no, respect. No, no, no. The point but is, is, is that, is that when, you, when we have discussions on policy, actually, it's quite easy, it's relatively easy for us to come together because this is a dreadful right. government and we know that we have to be an alternative to it and we want to be able to put out a policy offer. And then we, we descend into personality, politics and fighting amongst ourselves. And we have we have to be more disciplined and we have to focus on what the Labour Party ought to be about. The criticism goes deeper than that. It was after the budget, for example, it was not the Labour Party that spotted the great flaw that pulled the Chancellor's budget, uh, uh, made, made it unravel. It was journalists and backbench Tory MPs. Your leader didn't mention it in his in his follow-up speech, even though it had been trailed three days before. There's something else going on here, isn't there? And it's not getting better. A year ago, John McDonnell suggested, give us a year, it's all going to get, come, become much better. It's not getting better, it's getting worse. And I just, what is, what is going to get you out of this? Well, I don't think it's getting worse. And I think that actually the, the Labour Party is a collective endeavour and we all have a duty to do our job as well as we can and to work collectively and to work as one organisation. And that's what we should be doing. Okay. If that's what we should be doing more than anything else. We should keep our focus on, you know, on what is happening with the, ha with the housing crisis. What are we going to do about the fact that we're having the number of police officers cut from our streets? You know, these are the things that we should be looking at and we should be setting forward an alternative. Right. That's our job. And as I say, you that's can... our job. When, when, when the party has sorted out the internal issues and knows exactly how it's functioning, people will probably give more time to that. Can I ask you this? Do you want Len McCluskey to win the election for General Secretary of Unite next week? Is that something? Well, I'm, I'm a member of Unite. I have one vote and I'll vote for Len. So, You'll yes, I, mean, I, would, I would think that he would be a good and leader. Can of I Unite, assume but, from that you know. that you have no worries about Unite, momentum, getting together, perhaps working more in, in unison, so to speak? And, oh, no. uh, and perhaps yeah, exerting no, no. a bit more power I mean, I, over the Labour Party. Whether, whether Unite affiliates to Momentum or Momentum f affiliates to Unite, whatever way, way it works, it, it's not a matter for, for the leader of uh, Unite. Right. It's obviously a decision that Unite has to make collectively and it will be an executive but decision. That, that's so one, that's No, that's, really, that's, 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 that's useful. Yeah. 
Look, another issue that is, is relevant is whether the rules of the Labour Party should be changed to make it possible for a leader to be elected with just support from 5% of the MPs. At the moment it's 15%. Yeah. It's, it's it doesn't seem like an enormous hurdle, but it's the idea is John McDonnell has suggested it should come down to five. Yeah. Do you think that would be a better way of electing the leader? Well, there have been a number of suggestions put forward. I think Tom wants it to be a third, a third, a third again. I mean, there are lots of different suggestions being put forward, and these discussions will happen internally. To be quite honest, those discussions, and however that's resolved, will not get that lady who is being held in bed until lunchtime because the social services are not coming to get her up out of bed. When? That's what we should be focusing when? on in public, and that, to be honest, is the important stuff of politics. Politics is about power and changing people's lives. When Jeremy Corbyn was elected leader, there was a suggestion that the Scottish Labour Party would have a resurgence, that he would much better connect with the values of Scotland. Since he was elected leader, the Conservatives have overtaken Labour in Scotland, and indeed Labour's in, seen as being in some, some difficulty up there. Should those people who thought that by backing Corbyn, a kind of untapped socialist murmur around the country would be harnessed and would be uh, brought alight. Should they be disappointed that this has simply not worked? I mean, it has not gone to plan at all. I think that politics in Scotland ought to focus on the party which has been in power for 10 years and the schools are failing and the health service is failing and they have just introduced huge cuts which they need not have done. They have powers devolved to the, to the Scots Nats and yet they are not using them and they are continuing to bring up a constitutional crisis after constitutional crisis to cover the fact that they are not doing their job properly in Scotland. And it is up to Labour in Scotland and I spoke to Kezia tonight and that is exactly what she's pointing out and she'll be pointing that out during these elections and we need her to have the space to say that and not to be spending our time fighting amongst ourselves and discussing you know, people's personalities. Emily Thornbury, thanks very much. Thanks.